Okay everyone, this is my first time trying to make a video go for you guys, so I hope it goes well. Um, we're going to start off doing some watercolor, so hopefully you have your paints out. If you don't, just pause and get your paints. Uh, the first optional step is to tape off a border to your paper. So as you can see, I made a little border on my paper. And that's optional, but it helps create a really crisp, clean border for your painting. Um, we're doing a wet-on-wet -wet painting, and so you're going to have your water applied first. I recommend getting two cups of water, one for clean, one to clean. Okay, and you want to have a variety of brushes. It's okay if you only have one kind. Um, I have a few different ones that I'm going to be using. Either You also either want a cloth or a paper towel or maybe one of these little spongy type brushes that we're going to use if we need to remove water. Um, and you want to have something to clean your brushes. I use like this old rag. Uh, you might use a paper towel. That kind of thing. So you got your paint. You got your brushes, my paint, Whee. Um, all of that should be ready. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your brush nice and wet and you're going to wet down your paper. Hopefully you're using watercolor paper which can take this. If you use normal paper, you're going to have a hard time. The paper is not going to like it. Um, so I'm just getting the whole thing wet, but there's not going to be puddles or anything. It's just going to be damp all the way through. And this will help me spread my paint. And it's something you want to do anytime you want to be able to blend really nicely. Have it go from one color to another kind of seamlessly. And today we're going to be painting... A scene from one of the creation myths that we talked about. It's not my favorite creation myth of the Hindus. They have a few different creation myths that we talked about. But this one is one that works really well for painting. Kind of like how we've done other paintings where you can tell a story while you're painting. This one is one of those that tells a story while you're doing it. So I believe it's all wet. I can always add more water if I need to. Harder to take it away, so I don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to start by getting a kind of like a Prussian blue, kind of a medium blue, and I'm going to put it at the bottom. And the reason I'm doing this, as far as our story goes, is Creation didn't start from nothing. It started from an ocean. It is an ocean of stars and water. And so you want to get that nice and spread out. I'm using a big brush for this, but any size brush will really do. And if you add too much, you can always remove it, but I've got a little puddle forming. Let's get rid of that puddle. Okay. So I've got my blue spread out. And I want to make sure it's nice and dark. I feel like mine needs to be a little bit darker. Because this is an ocean, right? And... If this is a cosmic ocean, I imagine it kind of like the night sky. It can be pretty dark sometimes. 
So I'm going to add some darkness. Okay, so I have my ocean full of darkness, full of life, and I want to make it look like there are waves, because remember when that ohm sound comes, the water gets tumultuous, so I want to create these waves. One strategy you can use is you can lift out some of the paint with either a dry brush or a paper towel or that kind of thing. So I'm going to try and do it, I think, with the dry brush first. And so I'm going to lift out some of that paint and I'm going to dry the brush in between lifting. So I'm lifting out the waves. And it's going to create that foam that you see on the ocean as the waves are crashing. It's not a straight line because think about the ocean that you've seen. It's not going to be straight. It's going to be crashing waves. And so I'm doing little flicks and taking out that water and in between I'm drying off my brush. If your lines start looking too straight, just go back and move them around a little bit. See if you can make them more like the waves crashing. Not straight. So there's my waves crashing. And remember, if you need to pause at any point, you can. That's the advantage of having a video. Um, I'm going to make sure that the next brush I use is nice and clean. Now I want to really add that golden egg that I wanted to put in the very middle. I'm not gonna use a big brush, maybe like a medium sized one like this. But I'm gonna take a nice, beautiful, rich yellow. And I'm gonna add it right floating down into my scene here. So it's like floating from the sky. And eggs aren't exactly circles, they're more like ovals. So I'm trying to make an oval. Remember that we're not going for perfection here, just do the best you can. I'm going to go back and forth, give it this eggish quality. So here's the golden egg. So this egg, which is called the Brahmanda, Brahma, remember, is creator, the creator god, and then Anda means egg. This is in early Sanskrit, what a lot of India spoke. And this creator egg that was floating over the cosmos, when it heard that om, it decided it was time to crack open. And so, we are going to crack this egg open and use a little just water, clean water on your brush, 
and start spreading it out. As it cracks open, out comes all the life that was inside of it. I'm gonna get some more water. Radiating out. And the top half is going to become the heavens. So I'm pushing up that yellow. And if you need to get more yellow, that's okay. I think I need a little bit more yellow. Just start from where your egg is and then push it out. Because remember, all that life is coming from the inside of this egg. And you want to go all the way to the edges of your paper. So we have this Brahmanda opening up, spilling the top half of it into the heavens. This is... You can go all the way to the edge of your paper. And then the bottom half of it is going to come down and it's going to make the earth. You should make it go all the way down so that it's meeting the waters because where the waters and the light of this egg meet we are going to get the land. Now, if like me, your, your egg isn't too close to the water, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that tumultuous ocean come up a little bit more to meet this egg. I'm going to do that by adding some more blue. When the blue and the yellow mix, that's where we're going to get our land color green. Whenever you need to add more yellow, add it from where this egg is in the middle lost a little bit of this eggy shape on mine. You're going to start from the egg and then you're going to push outwards down into the bottom of your painting. Not all the way into the ocean but it's going to go down and this is where it's going to make some land when it mixes with the blue. And it's okay if it's not going to be even, because if this is a coastline of Earth, it's not going to be perfectly even all the way. I'm going to rinse off my brush, make sure it's nice and even. And this is going to take some time, as you can see, because you're going to be spreading that light from the egg out into the heavens. You're going to spread it down to make the land. That cosmic egg is going to be radiating in all directions. Because the top half is going to become your heavens. That part is 
Carl Then Dias. And the bottom half is going to become the earth. That's called the Priti. And I'm going to keep emphasizing my egg in the middle as I come down. Now as my colors mix, and I'm going to get more of that green on the bottom, I am welcome to go ahead and grab some green paint and start drawing the vegetation that's now growing. So I'm getting grasses, trees are starting to form. And we've done some looking at plants. I know plants aren't a straight line, so I'm going to draw my leaves, draw my grasses coming up. I'm not just going to go straight across. I've got my bushes starting to grow. And not all plants are the same, so I'm going to make sure to grab more than one green if I have that available to me. So I'm going to make sure that I'm adding some maybe darker green in the background. Maybe this is a shrub or a tree that's coming up. And if you don't have a darker green, you can always make a darker green. You're welcome to try and if you mix a couple colors like a dark blue and a green, or if you have a brown and a green. Look how this, this is a blue and a green that I mixed. Now I think over here is a little bit watery for me, so I'm gonna take out a little bit of the water. My alarm just went off. Um, I can take these different color greens. I can add in a little bit of brown if I like. And I'm going to add these darker trees in the background. Let's see if I can. Uh, that ended up a little bit darker than I'd like, so I'm taking a little bit of the color out. And I'm going to add some dark green. And these are trees. Perhaps. growing. All this life is growing as the earth has just been created. And I'm just dabbing my paintbrush to try and make kind of a leafiness. I'm going to go in and I don't want my brush too wet because I already have a lot of water to work with on this page.
When I have a little bit less water, you can see it's a little bit darker. some of those darker colors over here. Okay. Well, I think I'm getting the most success by just kind of dabbing around. Remember, these are plants growing, these are leaves reaching up to the light in the heavens. This is our earth. where I want to be with my picture of the earth I want to go back to this golden egg that I have though I want to make sure that it's how I want it and I want to finish adding a little bit of detail to the heavens because just as the light came down onto the plants making the earth. It's also reaching up into the heavens. And when if you've ever seen a beautiful sunset, you know that the heavens aren't just a wash of yellow. Think about the prettiest sunset you've ever seen. The prettiest sunset I've ever seen had some reds, some oranges, I'm going to add those kinds of colors to my picture. And so I'm going to come in with some oranges and I'm going to start just really lightly at first. I don't want to do something overwhelming, but I'm going to start adding a little bit of orange to my sunset. and. It'll look like a lot if I just plop it down in one spot. But the key is having that wet on wet ability to blend it out. You don't have any harsh lines. That's what we're working on here. I'm going to have some more orange. Maybe on this side. That's a little bit dark. I'm going to add some more water and blend it out. And I'm going to keep radiating out because remember, this is just the egg of creation cracking, developing the heavens, the priti on earth, and the dios of my heavens. careful as I touch my heavens to my earth. And you can kind of decide how much or how little of the red you want to incorporate. I'm adding a little bit more of this red. Well, before I was adding orange, and now I'm going to add some red. I don't want to go crazy with it, but... I think it would look nice as these heavens start to develop like a beautiful sunset.
And just, if ever you feel like it's too much, you can lift it out with some paper towel. And I don't want to spread it all around. I want it to have this orange and yellow. Just like we developed the land with plants, we're developing our heavens like the most beautiful sunset. That sound om, breaking open our egg, telling the world it's time to be born. And I think to kind of finish off my picture, I'm going to go in for the last time with some more yellow. And I don't have to limit myself to one type of yellow. I'm going to actually grab a different type of yellow too, this mustardy yellow. And I really just want to emphasize this beautiful egg that I have. And I want to spread it one last time so that it's radiating out into my heavens. Those yellows and reds mixing. Make sure to dry off your brush when it gets too many colors on it. I don't want it to be muddy. I want it to be blended, but not muddy. And that top half of my egg is becoming my heavens. Okay, I need to dry it again. There we go. Whenever you feel like you need to, grab a little bit more yellow if you need to. I know my egg needs a little bit more form. And come back in, spread it out. So I'm just adding kind of my finishing touches. I'm trying to make sure that that radiating light from my egg is going in all directions. And I'm just about finished here. So I'm going to post this video for you guys. If you have questions, you're welcome to jump onto today's optional Zoom or email me. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed painting this myth. And I will see you guys in just a second when we jump on the computer once more. I can't wait to see how your guys' paintings turn out. Last step here for me is adding that egg back in one last time.
Well, it's not all the way dry, so I'm not going to pull off the border. I'll post a picture when it's pretty much all the way done, but you can kind of see it now how it is. Okay. See you guys soon.